So in this lecture, let us discuss the design procedure of sequential circuit. So we can also call design methodology. So it is design procedure. or design methodology so this is a very very important step in digital system design so the design procedure generally specifies the hardware okay how the hard hardware is uh, implemented okay so the hardware will implement a desired behavior so the design effort for small circuits may be manual okay if you want to design a small circuit then you can do it manually it's not a problem but uh, but if you go to industry generally they will uh, you know design a big circuit and some for big applications so industry people will rely on automated synthesis tools and generally they will define big circuits or i can say complex circuits okay so so industry people will use automated design automated uh, synthesis tools for designing massive integrated circuits it's a very big uh, circuit therefore the sequential building block used by synthesis tools is d flip flop because when i say sequential circuit definitely i should have flip flops so in fact the designers generally do not uh, concern themselves with uh, the type of flip flops okay you can use d flip flops or t flip flops or you can use jk flip flops it doesn't matter okay but the industry people will generally focus on their uh, you know the input output behavior how to describe correctly the sequential circuits function and that is to be implemented by the synthesis tools so they least bother about the type of flip flops but they generally more worried about uh, the uh, you know functionality of the circuit see at the end of the day my circuit should uh, you know function properly i don't worry about what is there inside okay so in this lecture we will illustrate uh, the manual methods we are not going to discuss the automated synthesis tools we are going to discuss the manual methods and in this manual methods we will use a d flip flops and then jk flip flop and t flip flops now the design of a clocked uh, sequential circuit starts from a set of specifications i said in the last lecture right so a set of specifications who will give this specification the customer will give this specification okay so this will be given by the customer are the people who want the logical circuit and then it culminates okay it culminates in a logic diagram so start with a set of specification and uh, it culminates at uh, in a logic diagram okay it culminates in a logic diagram or you can use um, a list of uh, boolean functions if you have a list of boolean function then you can construct the circuit from this uh, list of boolean functions boolean functions you can uh, form the uh, you know logic diagram okay so in contrast to a combinational circuit in contrast to a combinational circuit which is fully specified by the truth table if we have truth table that is enough for me to describe the combinational circuit but for sequential circuit we need something extra that is state table so we need state table or state diagram to describe the 
sequential circuit combinational circuit i need truth table for sequential circuit i need state table therefore the first step in the design of a sequential circuit is to obtain the state table or an equivalent representation what is an equivalent what is an equivalent representation of state table state diagram so from the given specification you have to obtain the state table or a state diagram okay and uh, as we know that there are uh, you know two types of sequential circuits right so one is uh, synchronous sequential circuit synchronous sequential circuit and uh, another one is asynchronous asynchronous sequential circuit right so the synchronous sequential circuit is made up of what flip flops and uh, combinational gates these two things are needed to construct a sequential circuit that can be synchronous or asynchronous it doesn't matter now let us look at how we can design this sequential circuit step by step procedure we will look at so so the design of a design of the circuit consists of choosing the flip flops you have to choose which we have to decide which flip flop we are going to use it and then find the combinational gate structure okay so the flip flops together with the combinational gates combination <coughs> combinational gate structure produces a circuit and that circuit is called a sequential circuit and as i said the number of flip flops the number of flip flops determined from the number of states determined from the number of states in, which are needed in the circuit diagram and the choice of state assignment also okay are you going to use one shot method or gray method gray code method or binary method based on that the number of flip flops are designed therefore the combination combinational circuit is derived from the state table by evaluating the flip flop input equations and output equations so okay for flip flops we need to find out the input equation and output equation and from this you can get the combinational circuit so first you have to choose the type of flip flops okay and then from the type of flip flops and uh, you know state uh, table we are going to find out the input equations and output equations once you know the input equations and output equations you can find out the combinational structure or combination circuit okay so once the type and uh, the number of flip flops are determined the design process involves a transformation from a sequential circuit problem into a combination circuit problem it's a straight forward procedure so first you have to decide which flip flop you are going to use it and how many flip flops do we need and uh, you know once that is over then it's a matter of you know mechanical exercise that's all okay so in this way the techniques of a combinational circuit design can be applied therefore the procedure for designing synchronous sequential circuit can be summarized uh, you know by uh, steps okay there are uh, you know seven steps seven step procedure so we will see what those steps are so the first step is from the word description see the customer generally they will tell you in terms of you no know, words they will describe their uh, you know their requirement the first step is very very important okay from word description and uh, specifications they will tell they will tell you in terms of words and uh, you know paragraphs or statements or whatever it is 
okay and specifications of the desired operation determine the state table so from this you determine the state table we will take an example okay you can understand very clearly so let me first list down the you know procedure and then we will uh, take one example and then from the state table you apply second step is you apply the state reduction algorithm why that we said in the last lecture you can reduce the number of flip flops and reduce the complexity of the combinational circuit therefore overall you can reduce the cost so reduce the number of states so from the first uh, step from the word description and specification obtain the state table that is my first step second step is from the state table reduce the number of states and the third process is assign the binary values this also we studied in the last lecture assign the binary values how will you assign binary value you can use binary binary representation or you can use gray code representation or you can use one shot method which are you like it you can use it and from this fourth step is obtain the binary coded state table this also we did in the last lecture binary coded state table just i am summarizing here binary coded state table and uh, the fifth step is choose the type of flip flops type of flip flops which flip flop you are going to use and the sixth one is derive the input output equations derive the flip flops input and output equations and the seventh step is draw the logic diagram okay up to four steps we did in the last lecture and these three steps we are going to discuss in this lecture today's lecture today's lecture and as i said the first step is the crucial part of the process because the succeeding steps depending on the first step second third fourth fifth steps and all depends on the first step so once you make suppose if you make a mistake in the state table the entire uh, effort will be wasted now let us describe uh, you know let us take an example and understand uh, uh, and apply this procedure so let me take an example suppose i wish to design a circuit that detects detect a sequence of three or more ones this is very very important uh, problem in uh, digital communication computer communication and wherever communication uh, circuits are there communication is happening there we use uh, the sequence detector okay so detect a sequence of uh, three or more ones in a string of string of bits okay now suppose um, um let's say mobile mobile one wants to communicate mobile phone two the data are coming serially serially one by one serial means one by one like this it is coming this is serial okay not parallel now i need to find out is there any three consecutive ones so let me design a circuit that circuit is called a sequence detector and here my input sequences are coming 1 0 1 1 0 0 1 0 like this and uh, the output will be 1 only if output is 1 only if 3 or more consecutive ones occur 
consecutive ones come okay so therefore the input is a serial bit stream as i said this is serial bit stream it is serial means what one by one it is coming one by one okay now let us construct the state table okay so i have given the problem in terms of words okay from word description from word description i need to find the state table sorry sorry state diagram from the state diagram i will go to the state table right so the state diagram for the circuit is constructed as follows now let me start from the state s yes, 0 okay let me call this is my initial state okay something called a reset state now if 0 is coming my output will be c mm, yeah output is 0 if 0 is if 0 comes okay therefore uh, the state diagram is derived by starting with the state s naught okay this s naught is called reset state reset state now if the input is 0 then my output will be 0 look at the sequence detector output is 1 output is 1 only if 3 or more consecutive ones but if the input is 0 then output will be 0 therefore I will write down the output 0 here like this okay so the input is denoted by like this if the input is 0 output is 0 so yes not this is a state and slash this is the output and where is the input this one if 0 comes it will be in the state s not and then if the input is 0 the circuit stays in s not now if the input is 1 what is the output again output is 0 okay the output is 1 only if three ones are there okay so therefore if the input is 1 input is 1 then it goes to state s1 so s1 indicates what it detects a single one okay if the input is 1 it goes to state s1 to indicate that a one was detected but what is the output again output is 0 okay so this is output and s1 means one was detected now if the next input is 1 then what is going to happen the change is to state s2 s2 means two uh, ones are detected okay here s2 indicates two consecutive ones are detected but even though two ones are detected my output is still zero one so this is input second input second one and this is first one so two ones if I detect then I will end up with the yes two but if the input is zero then automatically my state goes back to the reset condition so it, this guy has to goes to zero yes zero similarly even if yes one also if zero comes then it has to come over here zero the zero is input if the input sequence is 0 then automatically you have to come to s yes, naught the third consecutive one comes then it goes to s3 yes, what is s3 yes, s3 yes, indicates three consecutive three consecutive ones are detected if three consecutive ones are detected then what is output output is one output is 1 now notice here mm. 
notice here here the output is 0 and here output is 0 here output is 0 but here output is 1 that means what if three consecutive ones are coming then my output is 1 and I will be in the state S3 so whenever the machine is in state S3 that means you have detected three consecutive ones that's it and again one more one comes so you stay back in the same state that's what the description says detect a sequence of three or more one in a string of bits so that is why if if another input one this is input actually by the way if fourth one comes again you stay back in state s3 and the output is one in case when you are in state s3 and zero comes then you have to go back to state zero so this is the complete state diagram of a sequence detector okay so second step is over so what is the second step second step mm, no first step we got a uh, you know state diagram no first step not it over we have to go to state table Okay, so you have yes not and um, input um, let's say input is 0 x equal to 0 and uh, x equal to 1 let's say this is uh, um, 1 second um, let me delete this from the state diagram we can construct this okay so let, let us say present state then next state when x equal to 0 and when x equal to 1 okay now yes not when x equal to 0 again I will be in yes not only when x equal to 1 then I will go to yes 1 isn't it then if yes 1 when x equal to 0, I will move back to s yes, naught. You can look at the state diagram. When x equal to 1, if the input is 1, I will move to s2. Yes, and then s2. Yes, if the input is 0, I will go to the reset state s yes, naught. If input is 1, then I will move to the next step s3. Yes, next state s3. Yes, For s3, yes, if input is 0, I will go back to reset state. If input is 1, I stay in the state s3. Yes, now let me write down the output output again x equal to 0 and x equal to 1 then everywhere 0 except when s3 reached so this is my state table state table now assign the binary values second step so what is the second step here uh, reduce the number of uh, states now we can't reduce the number of states here okay there is no redundant state if you look at the state table no redundant state redundant states so state reduction is not possible so first step is over this is my second step second step also over what is the third step third step is assign the value right mm. assign the binary values i am going to choose uh, not gray method i am going to choose uh, you know um, binary values so yes not i will represent 0 0 yes 1 i am going to denote by 0 1 yes uh, 2 uh, 1 0 yes 3 1 1 1 okay so write form the um, column here let me i need space so let me write down here yes not zero zero yes one zero one yes two one zero yes three one 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 now assign the binary values so this is going to be present state 
present state there are two bits let me call those bits a and b and then input uh, x so i put all the combinations 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 0 2 0 1 
the next state values in the state table specify the d input condition for the flip flop therefore from the state table we need to derive the input equations so the input equation of the d flip flop is straight forward because the input the uh, character equation is simply follows the input so look at the state table and you can easily write down okay so the flip flop input equations can be obtained directly from the next column of the a and b now um, this is present state present state generally as i said a of t and next state will be denoted by a of t plus 1 now look at here what is a of t plus 1 what is a of t plus 1 you look at where the ones are there see here i have one okay and uh, here i have one and here i have one so one second let me clear all those things mm. it's cluttered that is why i always copy the table from the textbook and i can write and uh, errors easily now look at the a of t plus 1 column this is a of t plus 1 column okay a of t plus 1 column now find out the ones in this column see i have the one here this one corresponds to this combination what is this combination 3 and this one corresponds to 101 what is 101 5 and this one corresponds to this 117 so 357 a of t plus 1 is summation of the min terms 357 why did i write 357 because my characteristic equation output is simply follows the d okay if you give 3 the output will be 3 if you give 5 the output will be 5 the output directly follows the input that is why from the column i am able to write down the min terms similarly what is b of t plus 1 look at the b b of t plus 1 this column mm. look at this column this column if you look at this column there is one here this one corresponds to this one so and um, this one corresponds to 5 and this one corresponds to 7 therefore 157 this is summation of 157 so what is your y and this a of t plus 1 is nothing but uh, the input of your flip flops the input is denoted by d suffix a it is a function of a b and x where a and b are present state values present state values what is x x is input similarly this i write it as d suffix b of a comma b comma x and now let me write down the output equations a of b comma a comma b comma x now look at the ones here i have in two places one mm i think i did a mistake let me look at properly in the output column i did a mistake let me figure it out mm. okay now mm. see 10 is s2 right yes to mm. 
okay if one comes you enter into state uh, s3 and the output is one yes i am right uh, now we are in the mm, i don't know so this is s3 and if zero comes you move back to I am sorry, I did a mistake. I, I think the way I interpreted is wrong. So let me correct myself. Mm. <clears throat> okay. So this output is nothing but present state output. Okay. So don't, I confused with the next state output. It is the present state output. Fine. Now, now the things are clear. So now when you are in the see this the first two columns are here yeah, this column is this columns are you know present state when you are in the present state of one zero look at here one zero I think uh, the color I have chosen is not good mm. okay now look at here when you are one zero one zero means what you are in state s yes, two so when you are in the state s yes, to present state what is the output you look at the state diagram see the output is zero so that's what i did a mistake here therefore this should be zero now when the present state is s3 yes, you are in the state of s3 yes, what is the output output is one therefore this is one and again in the last row if you look at if you look at uh, this is 1 1 this 1 1 indicates s3 present state if the present state is 1 again you get 1 so if you look at the last column of your state table you have two ones and the rest of them are zeros look at this column this is 0 this is 0 0 0 0 0 only these two ones are there this one corresponds to 6 and this one corresponds to 7 therefore your output y is summation of 6 and 7 okay so summation of 6 and 7 so i have three equations now now i need to simplify this how do i simplify this by using k map you can take three variable k map and you can simplify this so 357 a b x this is min term m0 m1 m2 m3 m4 m5 m6 m7 and uh, 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 0 1 right so 3 5 7 3 5 7 so if you simplify this your da is ax plus bx if you combine these two guys you will get ax if you combine these two guys then you will get bx okay this is my da and then similarly you can find out the simplified expression for db so db is 157 one, this is 1 and then uh, this is 5 and this is 7 okay so your db is going to be ax plus b bar x okay see this is a b x 0 m0 component min term 0 min term 1 m2 min term m3 m4 m5 uh, m6 m7 
rest of the terms are zeros okay so this is zero this is zero these are zeros so you can combine these two guys and these two guys the vertical will give you this b bar x and this horizontal will give you ax and similarly you can construct for 6 and 7 okay so 6 and 7 means this one one if you can group these two guys then your y is a b that's it so i got three equations and two flip flops now it's very straightforward to draw the circuit diagram so let me summarize the equations here mm. d suffix a is ax plus bx d suffix b is ax plus bx bar and y is ab that's it so the circuit diagram is straightforward so you have two flip-flops okay so two flip-flops the output of the first flip-flop is a and second flip-flop is b this is clock CLK CLK and this one is D suffix A and this one is D suffix B okay AX and BX so you put an AND gate and this one is A and uh, connect X so this point is AX put one more AND gate Mm. you take b here and then x here so this is bx these two are given to an or gate and then given to da that is over what about db db is ax and bx bx bar or b bar x I think I did a mistake this is not bx bar b bar x okay so ax already I have so take this ax here bring down and then I need a b bar x so this point is b bar you take b bar here and then um, give it to and gate and this is x this is b bar x and put a r gate that's it what is output output is a b so you put a and gate mm. this is b and uh, this one is a that's all and this is y that's it so this is my sequence detector okay so this is this schematic of the sequential circuit and uh, this is the logic diagram of more type sequence detector there are two types of circuits more and melee this is more type sequence detector Now what is the advantage by using D flip flop the advantage is that uh, the boolean equations describing the inputs to the flip flop can be obtained directly from the state table okay look at the state table and wherever you find one you just take it that's all you get the min terms that's it okay this term this term this term this term this term this term so it's very very easy to obtain the input output equations to the flip-flops okay how do you how do you obtain by looking at the state table you can get it okay so software tools automatically infer and select d flip-flop from the properly written hdl model hardware description language model okay so that's how you design the um, sequential circuit using d flip flop and uh, you know designing this sequential circuit using t flip flops and jk flip flops is a little more involved it needs something called excitation table 
excitation table that we will discuss in the next lecture and then followed by an exam and uh, you know designing of a counter okay so let me stop here and we will meet in the next lecture thank you very much